Do you want to get better at playing GeoGuessr? Well, hopefully watching this video will help you do just that. So first off, this one isn't really a tip, but more of a consideration, and that's getting a pro account. Now it's not necessary for a newbie uh, straight off the bat, but if you want to play games back to back in rapid succession, then it will be helpful further down the line. First off is going into Google Maps Street View or even just on Google Maps in general and having a look at what areas actually have official coverage. Now in um, Western Victoria and Southern New South Wales here, you can see there's not a whole lot of coverage. Um, it doesn't mean that you won't get that though, but it's just gonna be less likely that you get it in this specific area compared to the rest of the state and even further up in New South Wales. Same with Ukraine in Donetsk uh, and places like Belarus and Moldova and Bosnia. Um, you're gonna have a lot less coverage, specifically this area down here. So if you know that you are in Ukraine, uh, you're more likely gonna be in one of the biggest cities or in the western side here. Same with South Korea. Uh, obviously they don't have coverage everywhere um, as of yet, but it's, uh, it's mainly the biggest cities uh, in these areas here that do have that coverage. And the second tip that I have for you is learning some basics. Now, there's a lot of different websites like Plonkit, GeoHints, GeoTips that have a lot of resources for you to look through. Um, this one here is just like world flags. So you can take some time, do some quizzes, uh, learn what different flags there are in the world, find some commonalities. Uh, also learning what side of the road different countries drive on. Um, you can see that the UK and different colonies that they've had um, drive on the left and the rest of the world drives on the right. And there's also a tip for like picking up on language scripts. Now Bangladesh and Northern India here, uh, these are pretty common areas to have a line at the top of their script. Whereas further south you get and like Sri Lanka, um, it's gonna be more of a circular kind of script. So being able to identify the differences between the two is definitely going to help uh, with getting a good region guess. And there's also uh, license plates. Now obviously being in Google Maps Street View, you'll be seeing a lot of license plates on the road. Um, but for example, if we go Portugal, um, it's common to see uh, a yellow strip on the right here in Portugal. Um, and even like the UK, there's often a yellow plate for their back one. So being able to pick up on those uh, is definitely very helpful. And also, obviously there'll be a lot of signs and that sort of thing around in cities, but picking up on domain names, like for example, Latvia is .lv, Slovenia .si. One, that, one that's pretty interesting is Estonia .ee. Obviously like Spain being Espana in their native tongue will be .es. So being able to identify that Estonia uh, starting with ES, their domain name is gonna be .ee. It'll help for getting a good guess and getting the right country. And then there's also street signs. Now we're in Riga, Latvia here, and I-E-L-A or Iela means street in Latvian. So being able to pick up on that and the different kind of street signs around the place you'd see, like this one in Finland, they've got five lines for the pedestrian crossing. The way that I remember it is uh, like Finland 5 FF, um, being able to recognize that and the, the way that the man is facing is definitely gonna be really helpful uh, for getting a correct guess. There's also a lot of different guides that uh, GeoGuessr pros have made. Uh, this one's by ZigZag with Eddie, Maka and Dennis about Australia. You wanna take some time to study these kind of guides, make cheat sheets, especially if you see like landline numbers around the place. Being able to guess the correct state for those is very uh, important. And also they've got things like license plates. Obviously you'd be seeing a lot of blurred ones, but New South Wales, pretty common to see yellow plates. So guides in general, uh, showing that sort of thing is very helpful. A big thing that I would say is don't let all of your GeoGuessr knowledge just be remembered. Um, you wanna make notes of these sorts of things and cheat sheets uh, so you can go back and revise and reflect on that later. And now the next tip that I have for you guys is obviously um, GeoGuessr being a video game, uh, there's a lot of different discords out there uh, dedicated to GeoGuessr. Uh, we got Rainbolts, uh, the official GeoGuessr one, ZigZag, GeoGuessr Australia, Plonkit. They're all really good places uh, to make friends and um, 
and come across different meta that can be discovered, you know, form friendships with other people playing the game and uh, learn as you go. Next up, I would say watching GeoGuessr tournaments is very helpful because people like Rainbow, they do commentate and explain why a certain guess is chosen. So uh, obviously he'd be saying here, like you see that bollard there, that's probably Austrian or various things to that effect. But I would also say avoiding short form content when you're just starting out is probably a good idea because it can be discouraging. Of course, it does have a place uh, to get people interested in the game. And obviously if you see someone guessing the correct region in 0.1 seconds, it's gonna be pretty impressive and you wanna to learn to do that as well. But don't let it discourage you to see pros like Rainbolt make really good guesses in such a short amount of time um, in like blink mode, that sort of thing. Uh, next up, I would say learning Google cars is definitely gonna be your best friend. Uh, in studying the game of GeoGuessr. This one here in Ulaanbaatar in Mongolia, it's a pretty distinct kind of Google car because we've got um, something like strapped down, like, it could be like a tent or something, and roof racks. And then in Accra, Ghana, we have this tape on the roof rack, which is always a pretty easy guess that it is gonna be Ghana uh, from the black tape there. Trying to remember Google Cars is a great way for a quick identification of a country through that sort of meta. My next tip for you guys is learning physical geography. So in this place here, uh, we're in Kyrgyzstan and it's fairly snowy and hilly around here. And being able to remember that, we're in this kind of southwest portion out of Bishkek. Uh, so if you're familiar with physical geography of certain regions, it will help for making uh, much better region guesses in GeoGuessr. It's also important because, uh, say for example, in Ukraine where they've got a red Google car, if you go into Google Street View and you click around and you notice that a certain area has a certain physical geography, by clicking around, you'll be also be able to see that you won't always see the red kind of blur from the Google car. So doing that on the ground kind of studying in Google Street View is definitely gonna help improve your game. My next tip is going uh, onto YouTube and having a look at different travel videos. Uh, here we've got Bald and Bankrupt in Estonia's East. And I say this because being able to look at these travel videos, you can see signs and different architecture styles and oftentimes they actually will explain why it's like that. So it's another way to remember it instead of just going through the street view and trying to pick up on things the hard way. And my ninth tip here is actually going on to websites like Plonkit. Um, this is really good because they have a lot of different guides for countries and they're always updating it here. As you can see, Madagascar, Brazil, Chile and Qatar have been recently added. Same with GeoHints. Um, there's a lot of different categories of uh, resources that you can look through. Uh, GeoTips, where they've got um, specific countries and regions that you can look at. Say so we'll go into Europe. And then you can pick a country that way. And if we choose France, you can see that they've got the country's flag, the Google car, different bollards that you see, camera generations, road signs, that sort of thing. It's all really good if you wanna learn a country pretty quickly, just by picking up on say like their license plates, uh, road signs and things like that. My final tip is just to keep playing. It's okay to make bad guesses and try not to let it discourage you. Um, for example, I've been playing a little bit of Russia uh, recently, making pretty bad guesses. It was like 3.3K to 13,000. So definitely give it a go, uh, stick at it. I'd say make sure that you're learning something new each week but not trying to overload yourself. So maybe choose a, a specific region that you wanna learn. And then from there, you'll be able to pick up on different meta, you know, break it down really small so that you will learn one to two things about a country each week, let it really sink in, revise it. And then before you know it, you'll be able to make some really good guesses. For example, about different Australia streaks. There's a lot of guys in uh, the Australian GS community where they can guess like a hundred states in a row they'll do it in like 20 minutes. Obviously they've probably been playing a long time, but if you slowly build these things up, then uh, before you know it, you'll be 
almost, probably as good as Rainbolt. <laughs> but what did you guys think? Do you agree with my list? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. I've also just become affiliate on Twitch. So if you want to drop a follow there, I'll be streaming GeoGuessr pretty regularly throughout the week. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you later.